R. Kelly, an R&B singer, songwriter, and producer, is in the news. He has a history of hooking up with underage girls. It's totally common knowledge, especially in the music industry. But now everyone is talking about the new Lifetime documentary called Surviving R. Kelly, which details all of these allegations. And then suddenly, musicians and entertainment companies who've worked with him all of these years are rushing to disavow him. I mean, I don't get it. Why didn't they do this years ago? We all knew about his history. There have been numerous incidences going back decades. R. Kelly married Aaliyah in 1994 when she was only 15 years old and he was 27. He was her mentor and lead songwriter and producer of her debut album, AJ Ain't Nothing But A Number, when she was just 14. I mean, doesn't that tell you something? There have been many, many accusations across decades. He apparently had relationships with underage girls in the early 90s before he married Aaliyah, and after some time, after he became a huge star, the women tried to pursue legal action. According to court records and interviews first published in a Sun-Times expose in December 2000, Kelly has repeatedly used his fame, wealth, and influence as a pop superstar to meet teenage girls and have sex with them. In 2002, it was publicized that a woman claimed the singer impregnated her when she was 17. And who could forget the underage sex tape scandal involving urine in the early 2000s? I haven't forgotten that. R. Kelly was a top recording artist, and all of these accusations didn't stop him from making hits and performing. And despite all of this, other major artists ignored his past and continued a professional working relationship with him, despite being all progressive and Me Too. Lady Gaga, for example, collaborated with him in 2013 on a song called Do What You Want With My Body. The song, the lyrics, and the music video itself is pretty rapey and suggestive. The video was directed by Terry Richardson, who is a famed photographer, and there have been claims made against him that he has sexually assaulted models. But now that R. Kelly is in the spotlight about all of these accusations and getting heat, Lady Gaga is backpedaling. The Lifetime documentary six-part series highlights his scandals. And after not appearing in the documentary, Lady Gaga took to social media to say that she stands with the women. She said, as a victim of sexual assault myself, I made both the song and the video at a dark time in my life. My intention was to create something extremely defiant and provocative because I was angry and still hadn't processed the trauma that had occurred in my own life. The song is called Do What You Want With My Body. I think it's clear how explicitly twisted my thinking was at the time. And she is now pulling the song from iTunes. But why now? R. Kelly's past is not new, and if she had gone through some sort of transformation in her life, why didn't she do it then? It seems like she is only doing this now because of all the heat on R. Kelly at the moment. Only when she will be questioned will she go out of her way to take a stand. Someone that is genuine would take a stand before the media hits and a whole documentary is made. Why now? She's now playing the victim card in order to deflect working with him on something so controversial. Stop playing the victim. You're not the victim here. She did apologize, and uh, I'm in no way defending R. Kelly, but when these celebs know about this stuff and they don't care, unless it starts to affect them, and then they cry victim, I mean, I just think these celebs are hypocrites and selfish. Now that everyone is going after R. Kelly when they were silent for decades, they want to erase him and his work and suddenly act like they're the victim and they disavow him. If you want to see more from me and the rest of the Rebel team, like and subscribe.